themes proposed ranging from zany to pretty low tech. And they all have to do with getting aerosols into the stratosphere and keeping them there for years and years and years. So for example, if we used existing technology, if we used aircraft, this would be the equivalent of taking a small airline and just saying, you do nothing but spray aerosols in the stratosphere for the next and decades. So right there, his first example of using existing technology to put these aerosols into the sky is using jet aircraft. So is it ridiculous to talk about chemtrails in the sky being part of geoengineering? Absolutely not. It's being discussed in a very serious format here in NASA at the Jet Propulsion Lab about how to mitigate climate change, what to do about it, what's being discussed. And he goes on to talk about all the negative consequences that they know can happen from this. There are a lot of issues. One is it's known from looking at volcanic eruptions and this cooling effect that you get uneven heating and you actually cause drought in some areas. So country A decides to do geoengineering and they cause a drought in country B. You know, the missiles start flying. Um, what happens if we stop it abruptly? If, if we can't get control of CO2 and we start you know, injecting stuff in the stratosphere, it's costing us $10, $10 billion a year and we have an economic meltdown or a natural disaster or a volcano erupts and we can't fly airplanes for a while. What happens if that shield is removed quickly? We rapidly jump up in temperature. Even greater than that is the fact of what we call instability in the system. If you whack a bell, it rings for a while. The concern of the climate system ringing like a bell and being unstable. But we're going to see this not only has consequences for the environment, but for who gets to control the environment, what that means for global power. Those are some of the most important questions. Now watch what he says here. And there are other issues. What about weaponization? If you grew up watching the $6 million man and the bionic woman like me, and remember there's an episode where the bad guy builds a weather machine and he's you know holding all the governments hostage. Well, this is not science fiction anymore. It really could work. Not to mention distraction of spending cost and who are, and then again, arguments over the thermostat. Whose hands on the thermostat, right? Look how hard it is to get in.